Hey, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Way D of Dream Slide Productions. Today I wanted to give you a part two to my previous video of organizing your samples with machine. Now in my last video, I went over why I organize my samples this way, why you should, etc. So I suggest you go watch that and come back. I'll give you like a couple seconds. All right, cool. So a brief overview, if you didn't go and watch that video, is I use a eight group method. What I mean by eight group method is there's eight groups on machine and I just go across as such. All right, the first one is always for auditioning, whatever um, kit I'm messing with. I pull up the patterns, I'll sync the tempo, I'll listen to the patterns to get a feel of how they're using the samples in the patterns and go from there. All right, now when I find stuff I like, I'll move it from the main auditioning group and put it into one of my personalized groups. I have a group for kick, snares, percussion, bass and sub, vocals and effects, pitchables, and things like pads and things like that. And then one for loops and those pretty much are self-explanatory. And then if I fill up the 16 pads, I'll make a version two um, of said group and just kick it to the right because if I'm moving things over, I want to be able to access it from the eight pads. Uh, one method to use um, outside of my group method is you could just favorite the sample. Say you like this shaker, all right? Uh, what you do on your machine, plug in, magnifying glass, the shaker is called Jay's, Justin's Revenge, boom, you add, you add a star, all right? That's now saved in your favorite list when you come back to this later, all right? That's cool and depending on your situation, that might work for you. You might just want to do it like that and then later when you need a shaker, you can just go to your favorite shakers and you have that list to pull from. The method that I usually use is say I like this shaker. I would just hold the duplicate button, go to shaker. This would be in my percussion section and then I would just move it over that way. So the difference here is in the method number one, you'll eventually have a group that you can star here of your favorite shakers and you can move those around, all right? In my method, when you do it that way, you also get whatever effects are on that sample. So in this case, a reverb. If you, if you did it the other way, let's say like here, when we add it, it is just the plain shaker, no effects that was in the group, all right? as you hear the difference, okay? Do whatever method works best for you. That's why I showed you um, both options. All right, and one of the questions that came up in the previous video that I wanted to address is what happens if your CPU is spiking because you made all these groups, you added all these effects, and your computer's struggling just to hold everything open. One thing that I left out that uh, is a big deal with machine is this resampling feature. So say we want that same shaker, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new pattern, we're gonna add a MIDI note, and we're just gonna hold this little waveform that resamples everything in a group. Since we only have that one MIDI note, that's the only thing that's gonna be resampled. On my machine, I'm gonna press the corresponding group that brings me up to my percussion, and I'm gonna move that over here. All right, now when you place it on the pad, it's gonna make it uh, audio plugin, all right? Because we did it as a pattern. You wanna just go to internal and sampler, and you wanna open your sampler, and from here you can edit the length if the tail's too long, or say you added too many MIDI notes and you just want the one, that's where you would do that at, okay? And then now we have that on here. It printed the effects in the sound section, it printed the group effects all onto the sample. The only downside is, is you just have to name it, you know, JR, TR from Trill Rays, uh, Shaker one or whatever. All right, and now because we moved it over, it thought that we wanted to make a new pattern by adding that audio group. You can just go ahead, right click and delete the pattern that was made it's not necessary. So one of the things that was brought up is what do you do after you move everything into the group? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click on the uh, group itself. Uh, I didn't do anything for snares two, so we're just gonna go with snares one here. All right, I'm gonna right click on the group itself. I'm going to save with samples. I'm gonna pick where I want that saved, and I'm just gonna name it what I named the group, okay? Save that here. All right, after you saved everything in your corresponding groups, you're gonna go ahead and hit your little user icon. You can go to groups, and then you can go down to where you save those, and those will be available. Okay, so to touch on the why I do this, let's say I pull up a track that I've been working on. This is cool, this is vibey. 
let's say I want to throw a different snare in it. All right, so now I pulled up my Trill Ray snares. I have 16 snares I can audition. So I can go to my main group. I can mute the snares that I have going on there. I'm just trying to see there's a snare, there's a snap. Yeah, all right. So I can mute my snares in that group and then I can just... Cool, right? So that snap that I just pulled here has a nice tail on it that really syncs well with that reverb block. So what I can do there is I just duplicate that to take the place of the snap that was already in that group. And then I'll unmute that, play it back. All right, and then I have a great quick audition way of pulling things I've already curated from other expansions to the expansion I'm working in. And when you really get to know your expansions, that is amazing because you know, all right, Trill Rays is great for like vocal pop. And granted, this isn't a vocal pop song or anything like that. I know that these snares were made more for this. So when I'm making a vocal pop kind of track, I can easily audition with Native Instruments things or be best things for that, that I've already curated. All right, so another thing that I do is I make a all-star, all mat and best of the best curation list from things I've already curated, if that makes sense. Let me explain. So in this instance here, I have a section called favorite snares. So what I do after I have curated a group of snares from certain expansions. I usually go two or three at a time. I pull up the snares from what I just curated and I pull up my all-time favorite snares, all right? And my all-time favorite snares are things I've taken from all the expansions I've curated so far. And then what I'll do is I'll then go through these and then move things over, add things to the list that I feel aren't already represented just to give a further breakdown of all the snares that I like from all the expansions I curated. Now I get that this is a little intensive. Of course, you, you know, you can do what you want. I'm just showing you my method. But like right now, I might have curated 25, we'll say 20. Right now we'll say I curated 20 expansions, all right? And there are four groups of snares that I have of 16 pads that I love through those. I'm not saying that any of the samples are bad that I didn't pick. It's just like for the type of music that I do, these sounds work best. And to go through all the expansions and all the snares without the effects and all the snares with the effects is a lot. So this is my method to kind of get through this situation a lot faster. You start with baby steps and then by the end you have like a master group of sounds that you can call on to make your track shine. All right, I hope you found that helpful. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment down below. I try my best to respond to everybody. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of things like this, production tutorials, performances, across a, a very wide range of genres, and try and expand that more into 2023. If you found what I did useful or helpful at all, please like, subscribe, check the notification bell. There'll be more content coming, and just keep making music. Thanks for checking this out.